Hello, my name is Stephen Gottlieb and I made up the Cal 3 video. At this point, I would just love for you to sit back and view our demonstration video. That way you get to see a little bit about my teaching style. Now we get right into it. Suppose you were asked to find the piecewise smooth parameter ratio for some path C of x squared plus y squared equals 9. Should be for some path C. That is, we need to figure out what it is. x squared plus y squared equals 9. Well, that's just a simple circle centered at the origin a radius 3. The circles, they get me to think of their Pythagorean theorem for angles. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Well, here I have it equal 9. If I were to divide everything by 9, x squared over 9 plus y squared over 9 equals 9 over 9, which of course is 1. But 9 is 3 squared. So x squared over 3 squared, that's the same as x over 3 squared, plus y over 3 squared equals 1. Now this really looks like sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. If, or let me say it differently, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. If I call x over 3 cosine theta, and I call y over 3 sine theta, it really didn't matter which I called sine theta and cosine theta. I really could have switched them. In both equations, multiplying both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 3 cosine theta, and y is equal to 3 sine theta. x, that is the right side, which is x, the right side is in terms of theta. That is, x is a function of theta, and it equals 3 cosine theta. So right now, I'm writing down my final answer. y, which equals this, this is in terms of theta. So y is a function of theta, and it equals 3 times the sine of theta. Now, they mentioned some path C. Possibly I should have mentioned what C was earlier. Now, you get to really pick C, the path. It just needs to sketch out a circle. How about we start here, and we proceed in a counterclock path back to the initial point. Sketch out the whole circle. But the parameter is theta. Well, you know, an angle is made up of two rays. Let the first ray always be the x-axis. And the second ray depends of it crosses the point where we are. That is, if we're on here in the path, well then, this here is angle theta. Well, initially, we're right here. So, theta starts at zero. And then it's 45 degrees, or pi over 4, and then pi over 2, and then 3 pi over 4, and then pi, and eventually it goes out to 5 pi over 4. And eventually it goes all the way back to 2 pi. Eventually you have an answer. And there it is. You really shouldn't just say what x of theta is and what y of theta is. You really should mention about the path. And it's just a matter of saying that theta goes from 0 all the way up to 2 pi. Theta goes like this, from 0 to 2 pi. This completes the Calc 3 demonstration. Hope you learned a little bit about paratomization. And most of all, I wish you success in your Calc 3 class. 
and thank you for viewing my video.